Hello, y'all. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, I'm still focusing on doing recipes. It's easy to make. As we get through this quarantine uh, academic uh, that we're going through, and we all working on limited crew, just as I am. I'm the everything right now until we can all stop this social distancing and start back to normal. So everybody's going through the same thing. I'm trying to keep the videos coming. So today. I'm doing another thing that's very simple, very easy, and something you should have in your house. As y'all know, I did a video before that I buy everything in bulk, and I uh, don't have to go to the store. I have, still haven't been to the store since this pandemic started. It's been over a month and a half, so I like to stock up on things. So today I'm going to do uh, some braised, or you call them smothered chicken legs. And I'm going to serve with some white rice and maybe some corn or something, but... I'm gonna show you the easy method of doing it. I got some chicken legs here. You can season them whatever season you want. I got salt and pepper on here, garlic powder, lemon powder, a little uh, cabinet seasoning. So that's what I got on the chicken legs. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them, dust them in flour here. Y'all know my flour method. I put it, in my, put it in my bag here and shake it up. Just wanna get a little dust in the flour because this gonna help thicken the the gravy or the sauce or however you want to say it of the of the chicken and the cooking. So we're gonna take this up. I got my fire going there. There's vegetable oil in there, there's a little vegetable oil in there. And what I'm gonna do, I just want to brown this chicken off. So all I wanna do brown it off there. I'm going to do this in two batches because they all they're going to fit on the, at one time. So like I said, I get chicken in bulk. I bought this this chicken leg happened to be on sale at 39 cents a pound. I got 10 pounds of chicken for like under 4 bucks. 10 pounds of chicken chicken made under 4 bucks. So you just got to know how to shop efficiently and uh, smart when you can find stuff in bulk. And... Uh, Bag it up and freeze it up and throw it out as you need it. So anyway, we're going to brown this off. And after we brown this off, we're going to take this out. I'll show you later. I just want to get a little color on it. We're going to throw onions in there. We're going to caramelize them, get a nice brown color on them. I'm going to add some flour to it, add some chicken stock to that, and put the chicken back in it and cook it for an hour, hour and 10, 20 minutes. And we're going to have some... Nice fall off the bone chicken legs. So, turn these over here. A nice color on them. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Nice color there. Let me just camera up where you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's all very simple stuff here. Color. It don't take long. Take these out. That's what you want. And put the other two in there. The other one's in there. Need some nice size drumsticks too. glad when this pandemic is over where I can actually go back to the store. But it's pretty good because the freezer is running low, but I still got another. I can go another maybe three weeks without having to go to the store. So, like I said, it's all about planning and being efficient when you go to the store. Some people go to the store every day, which I never understood. When you go to the store, you should make all your time and effort worth it. Okay. Turn this one over. A little color on that. Very simple. Very easy here. Now 
if you don't have one of these kind of pots here that fits in the oven, you can sear them off, do all this. Then you can add it to a, a, a nice roasting pan and then pour the liquid on top that I'm about to make. So it doesn't matter. As long as it's something oven proof. Okay, I'm going to take these out. Got a nice sear on those. Now I got two onions I sliced. We'll put it right in that good flavor with all. All we want to do, we want to cook these onions for about five, six minutes. I want to get a nice brown caramelization on these onions. It's very important. It's not only for color, it's going to give this chicken a nice, awesome flavor. Most of the time I'll just sweat the onions down, but this time I actually want to get them brown and a nice caramelization on them before I add the flour. So, we're going to do that. So we're going to let them caramelize and I'm going to be right back. And when they almost caramelization, I'm going to show you the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, I already almost got the onions where I want them. Okay, now I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Got a couple of garlic cloves. And I didn't, I'm putting them right now. I didn't put them early because I didn't want the garlic to burn. If you put it too early with the uh, onions, they will definitely burn on you. So I'm gonna get them around. You see, I got all that flour that was at the bottom of the pot here. I got all that flour off of there. That's all going to be flavor there. We're going to let that garlic cook a little bit. It smells so awesome in here. Onions and garlic cook in there. Caramelization up in there. going to be an awesome dish here. Now, now what I'm going to do is that's cooking, I'm going to add a little flour to this. It's going to make our gravy. We're going to make our gravy right in the pot. I'm going to put a little flour in this. A couple of tablespoons or so. We're going to stir this around in here. And let this flour cook out. Cook out of there. Put a little bit more flour in there. Like I said the recipe is on the on the description of the video. So if you don't know how much flour or whatever, the recipe I put actually works. I've spent some, lots of time and effort to make sure they all work. But me, I just dump in like the videos. I'm just dumping in there because I've done this so many times. So we're gonna let this flour cook for a couple of minutes. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes here when this flour. I wanted to cook out, and I also wanted to brown a little, which is gonna give us the color to our gravy when the flour, when the chicken is ready. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, now. The garlic is cooked down, then I got sauteed onions in here, I got garlic, I add some flour. Now the next step, final step, I'm gonna add chicken stock. I'm out of, actually, can you believe it, I'm out of old school chicken stock, but I always keep a backup in my house, anybody know. So I got some regular stock here. I'm gonna pour this in here, we're gonna Sticking the sauce up here. I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce to this. Yes, sir. I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken stock. I'm gonna add all this chicken stock to this. There we go. And this looks like it's really loose right now, but it's not because it's going to thicken. Remember the flour that I have on the chicken? It's going to help thicken this as it's cooked. And it's going to cook for an hour until the bone is pretty much falling off the chicken. It's going to be that tender. So I'm going to taste this. I didn't put no salt yet because the chicken stock I get in the store, it has a lot of salt. And you can buy the less sodium if you want to, but I just buy the real stuff. 
and I'm gonna make sure it needs a little bit more salt, not much. That's why you always want to taste taste it when you're adding chicken stock. See if it need more salt. I should do it on that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna add the chicken back in it into the pot. in the oven. See how simple that was? The chicken legs back in here. Turn the fire off. And this liquid's going to reduce. And, it, and this liquid's going to get thick as it reduces. The chicken going to get tender. When I open this pot back up in about an hour, you're going to see. So we're going to put it here in the oven. We will be right back an hour, an hour and a half. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Let's see if the chicken is ready here. I've had it in for an hour and a half. I want to make sure it get nice, good, and tender. Ready? Uh, that up there. Be careful when you open it. Oh, yeah. Get a close-up of this if y'all can really see it. See how it is there. There we go. Around in here. Oh, yeah, see? That's what you want. See how that sauce is thickening? The chicken is nice and tender, not falling completely off. Let me get a fork here and show you. See how it's really tender? It's tender chicken, not falling completely off, but it's completely done. That's what you want. So I'm going to let this sit here and we're going to get a platter like I always do. We're going to plate this up. Look at that nice sauce. Not too thick sauce. Not too thin. So, anyway, I'm going to cover this back up. I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes, and I'm going to plate it up. So, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, we're going to plate this thing up. The chicken up here. Nice corn I did. Need some nice corn here. My corn, and, uh, my corn, and uh, put a little tomatoes with it. Put the corn here at the back. Right, it's about to rain here, and I got some hungry neighbors in the neighborhood. We're gonna cooking for today, so I definitely wanna help your neighbors out anytime you can. Okay, got a little corn there. Okay. I'm gonna have some rice, new rice, mashed potatoes, but then I'm doing white rice on this. Ain't nothing like gravy and white rice, huh? Put some rice on there. Rice on there. Don't say nothing better than white rice and gravy. Some other chicken there. Okay, now, we're gonna get our chicken here. Here. Get my arms here. And out there. My chicken over here. To it. If y'all can see what I'm doing here. Move it over a little here. We can see what I'm doing. Okay. Stand that chicken leg up like that. Oh yeah. Falling apart that tender. Like I say, this takes no time at all to cook. It's so easy. See how the meat falling apart there. Alright, now, gotta have that good gravy. Gotta put that good sauce on there. See that good gravy? That little good gravy on top of there. And that's all she wrote, buddy. So I'm on that rice, and that's it. And now I'm gonna let that cool just slightly, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna taste this up and see if it's, if it's an old school soul food worthy. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, we're gonna try a little of this here. Try a little of this one. No, I gotta have me some hot sauce on here. No, I gotta do that one. Okay. 
See how tender that is? See the meat just coming off the bone. Look at that. A gravy little rice with that. No, you can't go wrong with this, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mother chicken fried right, rice. Look at that. A gravy on that rice. The corn on there. That's a, that's a bite there. That's it, y'all. I'm getting no better than that. Get no better than that. Try this recipe. Get this recipe. Thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so whenever I upload, which I do every weekend, sometime during the week, you'll know when I'm got a new video. Also, follow my other social media accounts: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, OldSchoolSchoolFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.